So what a difference a day makes. Today the sun's out in Sao Paulo and yesterday was really gloomy so I stayed indoors, didn't do too much. Today the sun is out and I found myself a local who's uh, taking me on a road trip. Say hi to Gary. <laughs> well where, done. Where are we going Gary? We're going to this arena, the Corinthians training base where Iran are training. I hit the World Cup. All right, so I'm not going to get a chance to see them play, but maybe I'm going to get a chance to see them train. Most importantly, the sun is out in Sao Paulo, and it is a beautiful day. Okay, so we've arrived at the stadium. At the moment, though, there's a lot of barbed wire and a big gate keeping us out. Um, we think we're going to be let in in how long, Gary? 15 minutes, okay, then maybe we'll, we'll get to, to see the team train, and then what? <laughs> then hopefully there'll be a mix soon afterwards, we can speak to the That's great, if not, uh, we've just driven one hour in lots of traffic, just to see this? 18 kilometers, one hour. <laughs> 18 kilometers in one hour to see this. So here we are at the training ground of the Corinthians, it's one of the biggest football clubs in Sao Paulo and one of the biggest football clubs in Brazil for that matter. It's quite a nice field as you can see. The Brazilians definitely take their football seriously. Okay, so unfortunately, no such luck, we got rejected. Uh, so we're going to go with plan B which is to wait for them at the entrance, at the exit of the training ground, follow the bus all the way to the hotel. I can't grab it then. Alright. Operation Stock Iran not going so well. We've been sitting and waiting at the Pullman Hotel for two hours now. Doesn't look like the team is coming and I think we're about to call it a day. Samba. <laughs> samba, you call samba. And some samba in the 